Hello all, a warm welcome to everyone tuning in to the Oracle IAM Insights session today. My name is Sandeep Banerjee, Vice President of Product Development for Oracle Cloud Platform and Infrastructure Services, including Identity Management. I'll use the session today to provide you an overview of Oracle's Identity and Access Management Upgrade Factory, an Oracle investment and approach to streamline your Oracle identity and access management solution upgrade from 11G to 12C version. In the remaining presentation, I'll refer to this as the Oracle IAM Upgrade Factory. Recently, we had shared with you our product direction and the journey we have embarked on to modernize your Oracle identity and access management solution. We are innovating with a focus on functional advances, user experience, technical modernization, and operational efficiency. Oracle Identity and Access Management 12C delivers a steady stream of cloud innovations and complementary tools to provide enhanced capabilities and practical coexistence strategies to optimize your current infrastructure. These solutions are geared towards further strengthening your organization's security and risk posture, reducing total cost of ownership with simplification and flexibility, eliminating the risk of running unsupported software, and increasing return on investment on your Oracle identity and access management solutions. For those who missed our modernization journey and product direction sessions, we encourage you to take a listen to the replays available on demand in the what's new section of Oracle IAM Insights. Besides these business and technology benefits of 12C, it is also important for 11G customers to note that premier support for Oracle Identity and Access Management 11G ended in December 2020, and extended support will end in December 2021. So to retain the premier level support and to alleviate any uplift fees for extended support, 11G customers stand to benefit with the move to 12C at their earliest. If you have not upgraded, Oracle can assist your upgrade planning and execution with the Oracle IAM Upgrade Factory. As I mentioned at the beginning, Oracle IAM Upgrade Factory is Oracle's investment and approach to assist 11G customers to streamline their upgrade experience to 12C. The factory includes resources to facilitate the upgrade process and to run the 12C solution in their environment of choice. That could be on premises, in the cloud, or in a hybrid model. Oracle offers these factory resources regardless of how the upgrade is done. That is, it could be done by customers in house IT with Oracle Consulting, Oracle Advanced Customer Services, or with an Oracle partner. Now these resources include recommended strategies to upgrading the existing environment to 12C, prescriptive how to upgrade guides, tooling and utilities to speed up the upgrade tasks, guidance on Oracle licenses and cloud subscriptions to support the upgrade strategy, proactive technical guidance and support, and access to Oracle engineering resources as need be. These resources help customers understand the upgrade scope, self-remediate or eliminate known issues or technical concerns and determine realistic timelines for the overall upgrade process. These factory resources have been developed and are being continuously updated based on product roadmap, upgrade experiences of Oracle engineers and systems integrators, and feedback from Oracle IAM customers. As an example, our analysis indicates the vast majority of Oracle service requests raised during upgrades are awareness and knowledge management related. 91% of these service requests could be self-remediated or for that matter, eliminated with more effective documentation. Hence, as part of the factory model, we have made the upgrades resources prescriptive. 
This enables you to develop a clear strategy with realistic timelines and with detailed instructions to execute the tasks correctly at first attempt. Oracle Consulting, Oracle Advanced Customer Services, and several partners globally, such as Accenture, Bias, Deloitte, Capstone, Persistent Systems, and Simeo have incorporated the Oracle IAM Upgrade Factory resources in their methodology and offerings to help customers plan, test, and execute upgrades with proven success. In the next few slides, I'll give you a quick summary on each of these factory resources, including their purpose and how you can access them. Let's start with the Oracle IAM Upgrade Strategies Guide. This document dis discusses the recommended strategies to upgrade an existing Oracle Identity Governance, also known as OIM, Oracle Access Manager, referred to as OAM, and Oracle Directory Services, either Oracle Internet Directory or OID, or Oracle Unified Directory, referred to as OUD, to version 12C. The guide helps you evaluate which upgrade option is right for you. In place, out of place, out of place via cloning, or a combination of them. The guide is intended for architects, systems integrators, system administrators, project managers who are responsible for installing, maintaining, and upgrading these components. The document is in the public domain and you can access it at the docs.oracle.com link mentioned at the bottom of the slide. The next resource I want to talk about is the Oracle IAM Upgrade Advisor. The advisor summarizes the best practices to upgrade Oracle software. It provides guidance on all relevant upgrade steps, including evaluate, plan, configure, test, implement, and accept the final outcomes of the upgrade. The advisor includes contextual documentation, knowledge articles, and training content. It is organized in modules with separate advisors for each of the components, OIG, OAM, OUD, and OID. The advisor is accessible via My Oracle support. Now you can navigate to the product specific advisors using the document IDs mentioned at the bottom of the slide. The next resource that I would talk about over here is the Oracle IAM How to Upgrade Guides. These guides provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to upgrade an existing OIG, OAM, OID, or OUD environment to version 12C. Today, customers have a choice to upgrade to either 12.2.1.3 or 12.2.1.4. Hence, you will see two links mentioned in the how to access section at the bottom of the slide, one for 12.2.1.3 and the other for 12.2.1.4. You'll notice the same structure for the other resources that we talk about in the subsequent slides. There's a separate how to upgrade guide for each component. They provide similar information, but let's take OIM and OAM as an example here. These documents provide the pre-upgrade requirements how to upgrade, say, a single node environment, HA environments, OIM, OAM integrated environments that are set up manually or set up using lifecycle management tools, how to upgrade OAM multi data center environments, and update components like JDK after installing and configuring an Oracle Fusion middleware product. These guides also include detailed troubleshooting instructions as the need may arise. Now for transitioning to OUD from Oracle Directory Server Enterprise Edition, also referred to as ODSEE, the guide provides specific information on how to plan the transition, how to install OUD, set it up as a directory server, as a proxy server, 
or as a replication gateway, configure the JVM, Java, and database cache options, and manage OUD as a Windows service. From all of this, you would have realized that these documents are intended for technical users, system administrators, who are responsible for installing, maintaining, and upgrading the system. They are all in the public domain and can be accessed via the links mentioned below. Release notes, OIG connector certification matrix, and Oracle Fusion middleware support systems configurations are amongst the frequently referred resources during our IAM upgrades. They have been reorganized and updated for easier access and use. For example, OIG connector certification information can be centralized, has been centralized, and from the connector landing page, you can quickly navigate to connector details, their certification matrix, install upgrade documentation, and their download link. The release notes have the latest release and bundle patch information, known issues and their workarounds, and the information on deprecated features. Again, all this is in the public domain and is updated after software release. The next resource I want to talk about is the up Proactive Upgrade and Migration Assistant, also referred to as Puma. As part of the IAM Upgrade Factory, Oracle offers offsite upgrade assistance. The assistance includes a coordinator and senior support engineers based on the scope of the upgrade project. The goal of Puma is to reduce risk by engaging early in the upgrade process and making sure customers follow the upgrade factory recommendations. Puma teams monitor the upgrade project and coordinate rapid resolution for technical requirements. While Oracle offers this additional support for upgrades, it is important to note that Puma engages in an advisory capacity and does not replace consulting services by an implementation partner, Oracle Consulting, or Oracle Advanced Customer Services. Customers should continue to secure these consulting services as needed. For more information on Puma and how to get started, please contact your Oracle sales or support representative. Finally, I would say seeing is believing, and there's nothing like trying it out firsthand. So to learn what's new in Oracle IM12C and how to quickly upgrade from 11G to 12C, we have developed real life workshops that you can run on your own or ask for a facilitated session. The workshops are free and are designed to help you evaluate the latest version of the software and to test an actual upgrade using the factory resources. These workshops are delivered on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, also referred to as OCI. So they also give you the firsthand experience of running OIG, OAM, OUD in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, a strategy many Oracle IAM 11G customers are evaluating as part of their 12C upgrade plan. You can access these workshops at Oracle Live Labs or from docs.oracle.com slash learn, the links that are seen at the bottom of the slide. I hope you found the overview of Oracle's IAM Upgrade Factory helpful and that you're encouraged to check out the factory resources mentioned on this slide and the ones I've mentioned in my presentation to plan and execute your 12C upgrade. Before I conclude, I want to remind you to tune in to Oracle IAM Insights regularly and stay in sync with what's new and exciting in Oracle's IAM portfolio. Get tips to run your Oracle IAM infrastructure better and to listen to your peers' experiences with Oracle's IAM solution. Thank you again for tuning in today. We look forward to seeing you at the next one soon.